Rival fans will not want to hear this, but it looks as though Manchester United are finally awakening from a long slumber. The looming, money-spinning takeover will give them vast resources to play with, but what's just as promising from their perspective is the fact they're finally in a position to use those resources effectively. Their summer transfer business so far, bringing in midfielder Mason Mount and goalkeeper Andre Onana, certainly suggests a club on the up, ready to modernise and ready to compete at the top level once again. So let's dig into those two marquee signings and assess how it changes the landscape for United, starting with Onana. The goalkeeper position has been a source of constant disagreement among United fans these past few seasons as the man between the sticks, David De Gea, divided opinion. A Premier League winner, a four-time Man United Player of the Year winner and a two-time Premier League Golden Glove winner, De Gea more than did his bit for the club. No one denies that, but as the position has evolved, he's been left behind a little as he just doesn't tick a vital box that almost all top goalkeepers must nowadays, using his feet. It's clear Eric Ten Hag has had to compromise tactically because De Gea is uncomfortable with the ball at his feet. It's been a recognised weakness of his all career long. He fell out of the Spain reckoning as a result of this and missed the 2022 World Cup, and now it's played a part in Manchester United moving on from him too. In his place steps Andre Onana, and he is the epitome of the modern goalkeeper. Anyone who watched the Champions League final knows just how cool and calm he is with the ball at his feet, acting as a true 11th outfielder. His short, medium and long passing represent a huge upgrade on De Gea. He's comfortable under pressure and great at clipping passes over the press and into the path of teammates. Plus, he can sweep outside the box very well. His shot stopping last season was excellent too. His league save percentage bettered De Gea's by just over 5%, but most crucially, he was the best shot stopper in the Champions League last season by a distance, saving 7.6 more goals than he was statistically expected to based on the shots he faced. So, a marked upgrade in possession, fully unlocking Ten Hag's possession play, and an upgrade in the traditional goalkeeping sense too. For around 50 million, that is some signing. It'll be tough for any other fresh face to have the level of tactical influence Onana will, but Mason Mount might run him close. That said, his impact will be felt in a very different way. Whereas Onana improves United on the ball, Mount will improve them off the ball. He's a creative attacking midfielder, capable of scoring assisting, true. But what Ten Hag really loves here is his off the ball acumen. He's tactically aware and a great presser. Qualities that, incidentally, Gareth Southgate has also leaned on heavily in the England setup. Anyone who combines a strong final third influence with active defending from the front will be the darling of the manager, and that is Mason Mount. Expect him to play quite a few different roles, but most commonly, you'll see him in the one alongside Casemiro in midfield, replacing Christian Eriksen, who played far too many minutes last season and visibly slowed down around March. That's intriguing, as we don't tend to think of Mount as this kind of player. He has never consistently played that deep in midfield before, so he's going to be learning a few new things, receiving the ball in newer areas, and developing new traits. He can also fill in further up, of course, becoming the team's attacking focal point if or when Bruno Fernandes is unavailable, or simply coexist with Bruno, as the Portuguese is very capable from a wider starting position. That area of the pitch is quite busy for United though, with Anthony on the right, Rashford best from the left, Sancho looking to make his mark, Garnacho hunting for a true breakout campaign and a couple of others knocking around too. It means the bulk of Mount's work will come in central midfield, giving the Red Devils a very new look in the middle for 2023-24. Manchester United have moved refreshingly fast for these two players, showing true belief in their skills and an ambition to modernise this team. Onana allows Ten Hag to play a true possession game and recycle the ball healthily, therefore controlling games more effectively. Mount will add flourish, but also grit, improving United's pressing tenfold and making them much harder to play against. You might argue that United are still a killer number nine away from truly challenging the elite, but there's no doubt Ten Hag is taking care of the foundations of this team. Off the back of these two signings, they're very nearly ready to challenge the very best once again.